Have you ever wondered why what you really desire in your heart is not coming to you? My video is going to help you. Let's go. Buying something you cannot afford to pay for. Tap into it. Are you wondering why what you really desire is not coming to you? This video is about how to attract what you desire. I'm Tammy C. Walker, life coach, therapist, social worker. I create content and videos to inspire others. My hope is that my trials and the tribulations I've gone through will help you. So you have these deep desires. Some people know about them, others don't and you have a fear that this is never going to come to pass. For some of us, it is wanting to get married or start our own business, finish school, lose weight, whatever our dreams and desires are. They are ours, they are sacred, and we deserve them. But is something stopping them from arriving at your front door? And what do you think it is? It's you. Many times we have thoughts of feeling like we're not enough, we're inadequate, these things are never going to happen for us because we don't deserve to be happy. You will be surprised or not surprised by the thoughts, the words, the stories, the lies we tell ourselves about our lives. And if you have any of those type of sentences that you're saying is creating a doubt and a lack and the more you repeat that stuff in your head, the longer it's going to take for you to ultimately get married, have your business, finish school, whatever those deep desires are. It's going, it's going to be hard because you, you are pushing them away with those negative thoughts. And when I discuss this with people, they'll say, no, that's not true. I'm positive. You have to be doing something to attract what you're getting and, you know, unattract what you really desire. So I'm going to leave you with three tips. And if you really try to work on these, this will help your desires manifest. And we have to remember everything is not going to happen in 2019 timing. We're in a microwave society. Go to McDonald's, get your food. Um, we want everything now. Even our dry cleaning, we can get it the same day. Um, you send a text message, you want someone to respond right away. You call someone on their cell phone, you want them to answer right away. Everything is now, 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 now. And that's not how life is when it comes to businesses, completing school, God forbid, relationships. That's the <laughs> big one because you know in your heart you cannot control another human being and you will go that shit crazy, trying to make someone be or do what you feel they should do in the timing you feel they should do it. And I know that's a tough one for me. That's the one I struggle with the most. Um, I know I can finish school. I know I can make more money. I know I can be successful. When it, but when it comes to relationships, I'm a control freak within reason. And, you know, that's where a little bit of anxiety kicks in for me. So... It's, it's so super cool when you learn yourself and when you learn where you're weak at. So that's the area you have to work on. But it's all of us. All of us have that thing that can trip us up. It's all good, though. It makes us better, makes us human, makes me um, greater later because I got a lot of work to do. That's for sure. Just like you. So anyway, here are my three tips to help you attract what you desire. So tip number one is what I just talked about. Um, create your list. Oh, sorry, you all. My list failed. Number one, you have to get rid of negative talk, doubt, and fear. So, again, when I mention this topic, people will say, no, that's not true. I don't think that way. So, let me just give you some examples. If you are looking to start your own business, whenever you start thinking like, you know what, why am I thinking I can do this? I don't have the money. I never ran a business before. I don't know what I'm doing. 
is probably going to fail. I'm too old for this. I'm not, um, I'm too young to start this business. Oh, I have a lot of competition. These are all negative thoughts. Just like for getting married. I'm 42. I thought I would have been married by now. Who's going to want to marry me? It's not any good men out here. All men are dogs. All ladies are gold diggers. All this crazy stuff that I hear and I read it on YouTube and in, in articles. First of all, you have got to kill the noise, okay? We all know every man is not a dog and every lady does not want your money. Those are lies. These are stories we tell. And because those have been your experiences all your life, it's time for you to check yourself and pay attention to who you're attracting and what you're attracting. I have had some great guys. I've had, I've been married before. It did not work out. It was, you know, it wasn't a good experience. I dated some guys. It was not pleasant experiences. But then I dated some guys. They were really sweethearts, really good guys. And I didn't have any cheating episodes. So I don't want ladies out there to think all men are that way. And I know men that have had decent women that didn't want their money. I have a lot of friends, very attractive friends, successful friends that own their own property. They are business women. They are very nice looking. They are kind and they give back. They serve the community. So I don't want people to think negative of each other. That's like one of the first things when it comes to starting a new relationship. You want to be in a good space and you don't want to think negative or be paranoid. And I know I can be like that too at times in the beginning because you're like, oh boy, what's going to happen now? What are they really on? I mean, we all kind of know when you first start dating, you're meeting a representative. But we, at the end of the day, we have to, you know, raise our vibrations and expect the best. That's all we can do. So that's tip number one. Remove the doubt, remove the fear, remove the lack. You have to because it's going to cancel out what you desire. So make sure you keep your vibrations high on love, peace, joy, hope, um, giving to others. These are high vibrations. But when you start thinking fear, doubt, lack, jealousy, oh God, please don't be jealous. That's the worst emotion. Jealousy and insecure. And another part I want to talk about is watching others. Look at her. She's got her three kids and her husband. She's so happy. Look at him. They just got married. They're so happy. When is it going to be my turn? Everybody's happy but me. Everybody is, everybody is not happy. Don't think that. Don't worry about them. This is what you need to do. You know how they put blinders on horses. This is, this is, they need to make blinders for people where they can't look at no one but themselves. Just put your blinders on and focus on the person in the mirror. That's the best person, the greatest person. Don't worry about what everybody's doing. It's not our business to know if they're happy or not or they're so lucky. And, and you know what? If you think they are happy and so lucky, talk to them. See how they got where they are. But don't focus on other people. That's the, the biggest way to be unhappy is to compare and compete. Don't do it. Save yourself. Save yourself the time. Please. Please. Okay. Tip number one. Woo. Tip number two. Create your list of desires and look at them every day. Put it on a postcard. That's what I did. I put mine on an index card. Maybe start with five desires. Whatever they are, I'm just going to make up random stuff. I want to start my own business. I want to get married. I want to start a family. I want to finish school and I want to lose weight. So those are your five desires I just made up. Put them on a postcard, put them in your purse or the guys in your pocket and or your wallet and you put it in your folder or whatever. Flip it over, put your favorite Bible verse. Mine is, um, it's not my favorite, but this is what I put on there. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and ye shall find. So Matthew, and oh God, I'm the worst Bible quoter in the world. I think it's Matthew 5, I hope. I'll put it in my video, in the body of the video, so I won't go wrong that way. But put that on the back of your card. If you're not a believer or a Christian, put a positive quote or somebody you 
are inspired by. Put something that they said on the back of that card. Look at it every day, every day, every day. Don't skip a day and look at it. So that's tip number two. Tip number three, I want you to act as though you already have your business. Act as though you have your house. Act as though you have lost that 25 pounds and embody it. So you have your own business. How will it look? Visualize it. Pretend. Get the color scheme in your head. Get, you know, how it's going to be when you put your key in the lock for your house, for your business. Visualize your new house, the foyer, the living room. Do you have your TV hanging on the wall? What are your colors going to be on your wall? What type of furniture do you like? How about your bathroom? What about your kitchen? Visualize, feel it, feel it. If you want to get married, visualize yourself holding on to your guy's hand. You're walking down the river walk. Hey, I'm in Chicago, so I'll visualize that. Or visualize going shopping for your ring. Or men, visualize your woman coming out in a beautiful dress and you taking her out for a night on the town. Visualize being in the park, walking in the park hand to hand. Just picture yourself on the beach with sand running through your toes. Or maybe you're in Vegas, living it up, enjoying life as a couple. Embody that, embody that, and keep repeating that over and over. Act as though you already are. I'll let you in on a little tip I do, and not to be graphic, because it's not what you think. But when I go to the washroom, especially at work, I go several times. I drink water and coffee, so I have to go. And when I'm in there, I'll just visualize. I'll start my mind movie. Boop, there it is. I start doing my five or six things that I'm really desiring. And I play it in my head for that little minute, and then I'm cool. So I'm visualizing multiple times a day. So I want you to try to do that. But the biggest key is believing that you deserve these things. If you don't believe, you will not receive because you are canceling out what's trying to come to you. And there's no truth to you saying you don't deserve it or you're never going to be happy because you do deserve it. It is your right. And God, he wants us to have abundance in heaven and on earth. So I don't know if you believe or not, that's fine, whatever I do. The universe is waiting to give you an answer. And, you know, just ask, what should I do next? Where, Which way do I go? And, you know, feel like you deserve these desires because you do. It's your right. And once you get into the head space, if for nothing else, you're definitely going to feel better about yourself. And it's going to raise your vibration. And it's a bonus. Be ye grateful. If you are grateful for what you have now, you will get so much more. Be grateful for where you live. Be grateful for your home. Be grateful for your car. Be thankful. Sometimes you don't even ask for anything. Just wake up and say thank you. Be thankful for the sunset. Looking at the trees, the grass, the squirrels. You have family. You have friends. You had a meal today. You probably had several meals. You have clothes in your closet, in your drawers. You have shoes to wear, way more shoes than you probably even need, purses, perfume, just an abundance of stuff that we don't even need. We're so overly rich already. And sometimes we don't even look around and thank God for what we already have. We want more and more and more chasing shiny objects and we haven't even expressed gratitude for what we have. We have. And you know, getting all this stuff, I was really cursed, it doesn't make us happy. That's the sad part. We want more, 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 gimme, 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 and we still are not happy at the end. So what is it you really desire? And a lot of times it's not material. It's love. It's peace. It's good health. It's maybe you want to lose weight so you can feel good about yourself. You know, whatever it is, you deserve it. It's your right. I'll go on and on babbling but I'm really sincere and this is like a near and dear subject to my heart because when as a therapist when I talk to some people and just as Tammy when I talk to people I hear the doubt in their voices and I hear the doubt and the lack you know like I don't know if I'll make that well I don't know there is no I don't know it's abundance if somebody is out there somebody out there is worth one billion dollars Jay-Z why can't you be worth a hundred thousand? Why can't you earn a hundred thousand? Why can't you get married? 
Come on. It's, it's an abundance of men out here. It's an abundance of women. It's an abundance of money. Money is energy. Don't play yourself short. Get your stuff. But the way to get it is to kill the noise, kill the doubt, kill the fear, kill the lack, kill the jealousy, and please kill insecurity. So Tammy C. Walker, life coach, therapist, social worker, hit subscribe for me, hit like, drop me some comments. What would you like to hear about? I can talk about whew, relationships, abundance, breast cancer, um, holistic things like juicing, vitamins, um, how to be positive, how to have confidence, how to start your own business. Um, I know a lot. And if I don't know some, I could probably find some answers for you. But let me know if it's something you would like to see a video about. I would love to do it. And I appreciate every viewer and every comment. You all are amazing. Bye.